Hello, y'all. It's been a minute since I've been over here. If y'all follow me on my vlog channel, y'all know I've been uh, pretty ill, drastically ill for the past month now. So, I'm just getting back to normal. As y'all can tell, I'm still trying to get my weight back. I done lost quite a bit of weight and everything due to this. Um, so, yeah, y'all. Even my energy is not fully back. But I said, well, let me try to at least get back into the rhythm of things with videos or whatnot because I've been putting videos on the back burner due to my illness or whatnot. For y'all that don't know, I suffer from uh, severe Crohn's disease, so that's what's going on with me. But I wanted to break down this link shortener that I've been seeing a lot of these darn going, you know, websites. I mean, not websites, but YouTube um, pages. Do you know the making money websites where they say you can make all these thousands of dollars doing this, that, and the third but really, it's like you don't really see nobody's face on most of these videos. The ones that you do see they face, is like they rarely make money from this they sell. They make money, you know, from a combination of showing you the opportunity. And then they got like a dozen other things going on. Like they got their own ebooks and they got their own programs and Bitcoin and several things going on or whatnot. So you don't rarely see a regular Joe Smo on food stamps actually darn going to become a success story. It's always somebody that typically already got some money going on. So let me break down this link shortener. So it, it works like Bitly where it shortens your link. But the difference is when people click on it after so many clicks, you're able to get compensated for that. So with, um, Okay, okay, I okay. Io because it's okay. Io um, currently it is set for like for every 10,000 views, you can get up to $27. Now, I don't like that up to because it's like, what what is the metrics of the up to? Like, is it based off of how long the person clicked on the link or whatnot? But see, I tested it out myself. And it's another thing. They don't really like you testing out your own link. But it's like, well, before I recommend this to somebody, I need to see what they're seeing. And from what I see, it redirects you to a page to confirm that you're human. And then you click on, you know, almost like a verification page. Like a pop-up would say, click on all the blocks that contains a stoplight or, or contains a bicycle. It has you do one of those puzzles. And it takes up to like 30 seconds before you get to your designated sync, like link or whatnot. Because I did this for my YouTube video. And <clears throat> when I click on my own link, I had to do that so I could say, well, shit, that could be quite irritating. Uh, it would take up to 30 seconds for somebody to just get to the YouTube. And for the first time in over a year, I'm seeing what it's like to deal with ads. Because I was so privileged to have premium for the longest I done have gotten so accustomed not to have an ads. Now I'm starting to see the irritating 15 second ads that you can't darn on skip. So you add that on top of, you know, this 30 seconds or whatnot. It's like, uh, is people really going to be, because Bitly don't do that. Bitly, you just click on the darn going link and it takes you exactly where you got to go. Um, I don't know if Oki o is selling your information or, you know, or whatnot's so like they capturing your IP address the you know to give to other folks to so they can market you or something because I'm trying to figure out how do they make money from this first of all it's like this is a free service for everybody on the front end but how is they making money because they're not showing you no advertisements or anything it's like on the page, it's not like they take you to an advertisement to see. So it's like they're not getting paid that way. They have you do a block uh, to verify that you're human and it takes you to the link. So I'm wondering like is within that 30 seconds, is they try, is they getting access to your IP address and they're able to market things to you or just get a gauge of your pattern? Because that's another thing I noticed that some people do as well. Um, they collect your data you know, analytics just to get a pattern of the types of sites that you go to and get an engagement of what type of stuff that is your of your interest 
and then that interest they sell to like somebody else and then they are able to market it to you and they and you'll be like well i was just thinking about that i was just watching a youtube video on that how did they know that they're gonna give me an email about this just in the nick of time that's how they be doing it because you go through a site like this and they get a gauge of your darn going patterns and how long that you looked at a video or something like that. So I'm thinking that's my, that might be how they are making money. But neither here nor there, the link is not spammy from what I can see. Like it ain't, it, it, it's not going to put no malware on your computer nor your tablet or anything of the sort. I've used it through all three of my devices for my Samsung, my computer, my tablet. Um, I have not had no spam problems, no malware problems, or anything of the sort. The only thing is it takes up to like 20, 30 seconds for you to go directly to your link after you do the puzzle thing. Uh, but it takes you to where you need to go. It can be used for any sort of link as long as it's not adult content in nature. Don't worry, I got up for the folks who need a link shortener for adult content and still want to get paid i i got you just you know uh feel free to like comment share and subscribe and i will take y'all to that video in a minute <clears throat> but anyways yeah for every ten thousand views supposed to be um 27 dollars so i guess if you times that by 100 that's like up to 2700 dollars per million Oh, that's on the low end. Compare it to YouTube. YouTube for like a million views on the low end, you typically get paid like $20,000. But we also got to thank YouTube is the world's largest visual medium platform. Like no other platform contains visuals to the level of YouTube. Um, it is owned by the world's number one search engine, Google. Um, it got ads galore that helps compensate people for that. Um, so, yeah. We can't hold them to the same standard as of YouTube. I will say it pays more than some adult um, stars do. I, surprisingly, adult entertainment stars do not get paid like that per million views. Um, I've done some research and to my shock, the average um, adult entertainment star makes... Ugh. about around $1,200 to $1,500 per million views on the high end. For, and I'm talking about from sites like Pornhub and stuff like that. So it's like, ugh. don't worry. For y'all that wants to make more money in the adult entertainment industry, I got you. But this one ain't it. So realistically, for somebody of my level, would this be very profitable for me to share on my own? No. And the methods that they teach you, why do a lot of people get banned? And there's been some complaints about, well, I've done this and they never paid me out this, that, and the third. Well, guess what? On the sign up page, they tell you what not to do. Like on the disclosure page, um, they tell you do not spam sites. So basically what these other sites are telling you to do is, um, like for gaming or whatnot, go to the gaming forums. Um, and they're going to share the link and you're doing it with the malicious purpose of people clicking your link just to drive traffic to your um, link to get paid. Um, another thing that would get you banned is if they find out that you are incentivizing or telling your subscribers to click on the link over and over again to just essentially drive up the views for you to get paid, that will also get you um, band as well and have them hold your um, earnings they got to click on the link naturally so I would say if you're somebody that's blessed to have a lot of followers just start going ahead just use it as a link shortener and just have them go through the link and just naturally due to your large following you don't have to dar going um, tell people to click your link that way you ain't violating the uh, guidelines because they're actually clicking the link for the intent of seeing the actual content of your video or whatnot, so or your website, as opposed to them clicking the link for the intention of you to get paid. Like, that's not at the forefront, if that makes sense. 
Um, you can be clickbaity or whatnot, like with your video, then entice people to click the link, but you cannot do it in a way where it's like you are telling people to specifically click the link, if that makes sense. Like if you're somebody that does commentary videos and you got some hot tea on Beyonce or Rihanna, like you can do that. Another thing is, as long as the content of the video is not overly derogatory, like, as long as you ain't, pretty much as long as you ain't on no Tasha K type shit, as long as you ain't on no, you talking trash to the point where a celebrity is about to put a lawsuit out on you, you should be a all right. Uh, I would say p politics, don't get too heavy on it. But for most of your YouTube videos, you should be okay for the most part. As long as you're not promoting nothing that is harassing, doxing in nature, uh, anything that violates the law, you should be fairly well. Now, I know some of y'all thinking, well, Juan, if I only got 500 subscribers like you do on this channel, how in the hell am I going to make money with this? They got a referral program, so... This is how I say folks who might not have a large following. Hold on, y'all. I'm losing my voice. Let me get let me get a drink of lemonade real quick. <clears throat> so let's say you ain't got a hundred thousand followers. You like Diva Wine on this business channel only got five hundred followers. <clears throat> so what I would say to do is market this to people who have larger followers who you know would be incentivized to darn going to do this to make some extra income because don't think because they got 300,000 subscribers that they automatically rolling the dough down to the YouTube depending on what set their YouTube that they're in they might not be not making that much money if they do like a lot of political talk videos um if they do a lot of cussing in their videos, if they do commentary on certain reality shows, it may not be problematic as far as getting banned from okey.io, but it might be problematic for YouTube advertisement, so they might not be getting as much. I know, like, for example, my um, Bobby I Love You Per videos, um, they always getting struck down. Even though I do not... I feel like I don't overly cuss. Um, I'm not saying nothing problematic. I'm not doxing. I'm not violating any v uh, guidelines, but just due to the nature of the show. Every time I upload a video, it gets striked down. I'm not getting hardly no money from it. So for people like that in that predicament, and I'm noticing other folks who are far higher than me in subscriber count, um, when I click on their channel and they're reviewing, I do not have no commercials. It goes straight to the video, which means that there is no advertisement on that channel. So this will be very good for those types of people who does videos like that. People who do web series reviews that might not get advertised, but they get a lot of views to their channel. This will be a good way for them to make some side income um, as well. Also, YouTube is on a bull skit. As they try to compete with TikTok and Instagram with the wheels and stuff. They're, you know, money is getting funny right now for us that record in regular video style. They're trying to push more so um, the funds towards YouTube shorts. So people noticing that even if they have the same amount of viewership as they were getting, the viewership is staying the same, but the pay is naturally decreasing. Even if your ads are fully monetizable, it's, it's green lit as opposed to the yellow or the red um, dollar sign, which means you're getting very little to no money at all. So don't think because they got higher views and they got some advertisement that, you know, they won't take advantage of this opportunity. I would say market this to some of your higher YouTubers or whatnot. You will get a 20% residual on each um, click that their person does. So let's say you get somebody like Tasha K. Tasha K got a million subscribers. Matter of fact, uh, let's see what her latest video did. Let me go to Unwind with Tasha K. 
usually she get like 50,000 views or so. Okay, so one day ago, 36,000 views. She oh, She's over there in Africa. 85,000 views, 64,000 views, 40K views. Oh, her views been going down over the past couple weeks. Okay, but she averaging like 50K views um, per video. Let's say a tenth of that per video goes through the link. So for every two videos, it's $27 for her. Wait a minute. Did I say that right? 50K, 10% comes from people coming to the link. We have 10,000. So of that 27, that's times divided by five. So that's a little passive income. Like, don't think you want to get money from this unless you get somebody massive like James Charles. Um, but $5.04 for, like, in that type of scenario for what Tasha K is doing right now. But let's say... You get somebody of a James Charles caliber who does like 3 million views per video. Let's say she, um, he advertises it out on Twitter. And of that 3,300,000 came from the link. 300,000 divided by 10,000. That's 30 times $27. So he would get $810, which is basically pennies to him because he's worth like 20 million, right? But to you, times 20%, that's $162. Now, very small money, but once again, if you get a couple folks like that, you times that by like five, that's $810 right there in passive income only for you just referring this to a couple of YouTubers who already have hundreds of thousands um, and darn going subscribers or whatnot. So you can make some passive income. You can make enough to pay like a car bill. Um, a car bill. Maybe your rent if you live in subsidized housing or whatnot. Um, pay your cable and whatnot. Now, I am still don't think you can scale this up to tens of thousands of dollars. Like I said, you would have to do a whole lot of... But once again, it all depends on your marketing level. Because... There are a plethora of YouTubers. This is not just um, restricted to YouTube. You can do this to TikTok. You can do this to people who own their own websites. This, that, and the third. As long as it's not adult nature. As long as it's not doxing in nature for the most part. Um, anybody can use this platform. Once again, as long as it's not adult nature. As long as they're not spamming. They're not going to forums with the direct intent of having people click on their links or whatnot. The views are coming in organically. You will get a 20% kickback residual. Matter of fact, let me do one more example. Let's see what James Charles been doing. Matter of fact, let's do Jeffree Star. I ain't heard that darn on Lobster name in a, in a while. So let's see what Jeffree Star is up to. Yeah, everybody's views are falling down because I remember Jeffree Star well, consistently have over a million views. He got a... V oh, that's a short video. See, even he's doing shorts now. Um, 398,000. Okay. His views are still over a million dollars. I mean, his... <laughs> well, probably that too, but his darn going um, videos are still a million per video so let's just say 10% of that comes from the link um, him sharing the link or whatnot so that's a hundred thousand that'll get him two hundred and seventy dollars times that by a fifth that's fifty four dollars for you basically for every video let's see how many videos somebody like Jeffree Star does well, see, the downside is he's only doing, like, two videos a month on average. Oh, wow. So, this looks like it's a consistent thing with him. So, for the past eight months, he's only been doing two videos a month. So, but if you get somebody like him that does videos, like, two times a week 
$54 times 8, that's $432 in income. Like I said, don't expect to make no life changing money from this. Don't expect to make no thousands upon thousands of dollars. Using the method that I'm teaching y'all, um, expect to make anywhere from, like like I said, from 50 bucks or so to pay a you know, phone bill to maybe upwards of a thousand dollars or so if you manage to get somebody of a James Charles caliber or Jeffrey Star or unwind with Tasha K. Another one is Lovely T. Lovely T, she doesn't do no dancing or anything of the sorts, but the nature and the seriousness of her videos don't get her monetized as heavy um, compared to somebody like, um, let me see, like an impressive channel. Impressive is comparable to Lovely T, but she does more gossip and Lovely T does more of the serious topics. She go really in or whatnot. So even though Impressive got less subscribers, she makes way more on YouTube um, than like a Tasha K. I mean, then a, uh, well, she makes more than Tasha K as well, but uh, more than a Lovely T. So, but at the end of the day, this can benefit all these types of people. Like I said, a Lovely T, a Tasha K, a, a Jeffree Star, a Patrick Star, a Manny MUA, a Jackie Anna. Like, it doesn't matter whether they in the makeup sector, the beef sector, the conscious sector. As long as it is not a sector where there's a lot of drama and dancing and you're linking videos to people threatening people, yeah, stay away from that type of stuff. As long as it's like, you know, commentary or something like that, that's fine. But yeah, this is a good way using this method. You can make upwards of a thousand dollars a month without essentially doing anything but just having people to sign up. And it's free. It doesn't cost you anything at all. And like I said, easiest money that you can make. Now, you ain't going to make a lot of money from it. But once again, you literally don't have to do nothing but just reach out to folks and say, hey, this is a good way to make you a little pocket change or whatnot. Because now compared to what you're making. Yeah, this ain't going to necessarily replace your income, but hell, who ain't who who don't want a little itch to pocket change or whatnot? So who ain't going to, you know, take advantage of like just some passive income of a couple thousand? Because like I said, even somebody like Lovely T, she makes fifty thousand views per video or something like that on average. Well, actually, she closer to like eighty thousand. Let's say she does videos four times a month. If if just 10% of that comes from the link, let me see. That's basically like $54 for her. Once again, pocket change for somebody like her child. Um, and you get darn going 10 a fifth of that. What's what's a fifth of $54? $10. So, like I said, don't expect no life-changing income, but at the end of the day, good passive income nonetheless. A mm, little modest income. So, those are my thoughts, y'all. I ultimately rank it, uh, it's a C-plus for me. Only because I know other methods that can make people far more money, um, into the tune of, you know, hundreds to thousands of dollars. So... Yeah, that's that's not really impressive to me. But like I said, if you ain't got jack shit, if you somebody on food stamps, you somebody on subsidized housing, this is definitely a good way to get you a little bit of extra income in as well. Even if you're homeless, I would say this will be a good lucrative opportunity to take advantage of this uh, um, as well. Because it's like, as long as you have access to the internet, a phone, you can basically do this because okey.io um, can be accessed through the phone, the tablet, or computer. And with, you know, even with being homeless, you have access to get a phone for free. If you qualify for, like, food stamps, they will give you a phone that has the internet for free. Um, you have your data and whatnot. They are, they even giving out free tablets for free. So definitely check out your local area. Um, Biden has it now due to the affordable connectivity program. Um, there are places that are popping up all over the place like convenience stores in front of your local Walmart where 
It's like if you got food stamps, Medicaid, or something like that, they would even sign you up and get a free tablet. Sometimes they try to charge you a $15 fee. That can easily be waived. So even if you are homeless, this is a way where you can easily make money because you can reach out to these folks and whatnot. So instead of panhandling and say, hey, give me a dollar here, give me a dollar there, you can still do that because you need money right now. You surviving on the streets. But this would be an extra way for even somebody like that to make in some extra income. So when I say that this literally can work for anybody, this can even work for a homeless person. So those are my thoughts. But ultimately, like I said, do not expect to make no life changing money. But for somebody in that type of predicament, any type of money is good money and can really change somebody's life. So that's why I'm sharing the information out to you. So if you love this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Um, definitely share and definitely use my link down below if you feel like this opportunity is good for you. Like I said, it's free 99. It, does, it won't cost you a thing. Um, and of course, I will get a 20% a residual on anything that you do as well, honey. So, honey, we just going to be making this little passive income all the way around, honey. As you making money, Diva's making money, honey. So, that is it, y'all. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see y'all soon with more videos. Let me go find me some chapstick because, like I said, my lips are still recovering. And they are looking as dry as the Saharan Desert, child. Let me get up off here.